Hello everybody and welcome to Readout Productions Artifact Highlight where I go through my history collection. Some people might call it a junk collection, but you know that's besides the point. Today we got four small items uh, pertaining to the American Civil War. This is the third attempt actually of me trying to make this video. My brain has not been working today. It's just been gibberish. So we're gonna have to pretend like I never saw this stuff before. <laughs> So we're going to go through. Uh, just to give you a little background on the items, uh, they're all small stuff. They're all relating to firearms, and two of the uh, half of them came from Spotsylvania County, which saw some of the fiercest fighting of the American Civil War. The other two also come from Virginia. So we're going to, let's see here. I want the big piece first. So I want that. Here we go. So we're going to start off here with a 1842 Springfield uh, butt plate. Springfield musket. Later, I believe a lot of them were grooved out to be rifles by the time the American Civil War. This plate was uncovered in what I would believe to be in a Union encampment, and it consisted of an Enfield barrel and two pieces, a washer assembly, trigger assembly, sling, hook, and an 1861 Springfield ramrod. So it must have been an area where they were repairing their firearms. So this would go on to the back of the firearm, like this. You know, your shoulder would be up against this while you're firing it. This was the only item from that pit that they had left on sale. So I picked it up. Next up, we have this Austrian Lorenz uh, tool, uh, tool that would be used to fix the Austrian rifles. Now, in 1855, when the Austrian Lorenz rifle came out, it was used somewhat but it never really got, it hit its stride by the time of the American Civil War so these were imported from Austria to the United States they were used by both sides of the conflict I believe the Confederates used it more than the Union don't quote me on it uh, usually these were used more out in the Western feeder so it's pretty interesting to find an uh, Austrian Lorenz tool that was here on the Eastern Front but I saw the seller later on also had another Im image of another uh, much more deteriorated Austrian Lorenz tool uh, to give you a bit of idea uh, how this works, this here is your screwdriver edge, this here is your flathead, and over here you got your wrench here. So that is a Confederate tool. Now we can look at a Union gun tool. This here was a U.S. combination screwdriver located on the Cold Harbor battlefield. I've talked about Cold Harbor a lot in my videos. I have a group of case shot that came from the vicinity of Cold Harbor. And I did a video documenting the battle, one of my Construction Paper Battlefield episodes. So I'm going to plug Construction Paper Battlefield there. Be sure to check that out. Uh, once again, I'm going to say Cold Harbor is best slash worst case for a battlefield. It's... Worst case, because very little of it is preserved. It's great for us relic people, though, because a good bit of it is private property, so the right people get the right permission, they find all sorts of goodies, and they end up in collections like mine. So that's where that goes. So this here, combination wrench. You got the wrench here. You got the screwdriver bit up here. It looks a little bit deteriorated. It's kind of hard to see, but there is the screwdriver head, and then you have the flat head over here. And it's in pretty good condition. If you can see, it's pretty black here. I don't know if the seller before gone in and done some cleanup work on it before selling it. But a lot of this right here, it's pure black right there. So pretty interesting. And our last item we'll be discussing, it's a little bit of a mystery for me. Uh, the seller labeled these as being two, bar uh, barrel, stra uh, two barrel rounds. They've been holding the barrel to the stock of a firearm. And this was located near Five Forks, Virginia. Now, Five Forks was the location of one of the last major battles of the American Civil War in eight, April 1st, 1865. Uh, for about 10 months up to this point, the Robert E. Lee's Confederate Army and USS Grant's Union Army had been fighting in trenches all around Petersburg, Virginia. Grant was pretty much trying to outstretch uh, the uh, Confederates, trying to break them. That eventually happened on April 1st. He stretched the Confederate lines just too far at Five Forks. Philip Sheridan's uh, force were able to capture this strategic intersection and ultimately the following day the Union Army would break through the defenses of Petersburg and by April 9th Lee would surrender and a couple days by the end of the month the war was over. So it says that these are two barrels that would be going to a firearm, you know, to hold the barrel in the stock. 
I kind of hard to tell if it is or isn't. It was not that very expensive, so I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> so pretty confident it is. Seller is pretty reputable at 20 years experience, so I'm not gonna deny it. But I cannot confirm or deny for absolution these would be that's exactly the fork. But it came from Five Forks, and I've explained the history of Five Forks, so you can see why I was pretty interested having a Five Forks relic in my collection. So here are the four items. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Artifact Highlight. I just got done doing the Battle of Monmouth for Construction Paper Battlefield, that Rev War battle. It's gonna be the long, it's the longest video I've ma uh, made for Construction Paper Battlefield. And I gained a lot of brain cells doing the research and then I proceeded to lose all those brain cells doing the editing. <laughs> so if you, if you haven't yet to watch the Construction Paper Battlefield episode of Monmouth or Cold Harbor, I'd appreciate if you check both of them out. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, consider supporting the channel by subscribing to Redout Production. We'll see you in the next video, whenever that'll be. You know, we're in Apocalypse after all. See you next time.